I'm Austin Wooten. Hey, I'm John Ingersmacher. I'm Grant Ellis, and this is our project, The Disinfection Chamber. The main motivation behind this project was to create a method to disinfect your heat and moisture sensitive items, such as your wallet, keys, and phone. Uh, we decided to go with ozone because it is gaseous. Unlike UV light, it's able to get into all the cracks and crevices and thoroughly disinfect any objects placed with inside the chamber. The way our disinfection chamber works is first, you must open the chamber and place in your item, like your keys, your wallet, or your phone inside the chamber and close it. Then you'll start the process with the switch, right. which will lock the chamber and start generating ozone. Ozone will be circulated throughout the chamber, disinfecting all pathogens on your object. The next step is to dissipate all of that ozone so that it's down to a safe level. The way this is done is by circulating the ozone through our manganese dioxide tube. The manganese dioxide works as a catalyst, which speeds up the reaction of changing the ozone back into oxygen gas, which is safe for humans. Once the ozone is down to a safe, level, the chamber will be unlocked and it will be able to be opened and your item can be retrieved. One of the applications of this project would be as such where you could wake up in the morning and you could put your items that would be needed to be disinfected for the day into the chamber, start it, have your morning coffee along with your breakfast, and by the time that you are done, your items will be disinfected and cleaned and ready for your day. Through our testing, we found out that it takes roughly 17 seconds to generate the 10 parts per million of ozone that it requires to disinfect all of your objects. We found that it takes around 12 to 14 minutes to dissipate all of your ozone back down to your oxygen. The reason we decided on the shape and dimensions of this chamber is that we wanted something that would look normal on a kitchen counter or at a home. We ended up deciding to go with a box shape because that's the shape of many things in a household, such as your toaster or your microwave. Another reason we chose the box shape it's because many of the things you want to disinfect, such as your wallet or your phone, are a similar box shape. So looking at our cost analysis, this prototype here took about $300 to make, but looking at ordering in bulk parts, about $100, we can get it down to about $80. When you go to your local Walmart, you'd be looking at about $160 for this product. For the future of this project, it will be getting handed off to some biomed students who are going to test how long you have to leave objects within the chamber to kill all of your pathogens. At that point, the code will now need to be changed to the set time that the biomed students have found for to kill all of your pathogens.